this place yeah yeah thank you giri a uh, very uh, warm afternoon to every faculty who joined with us um so after these uh, two days working with this ftp you you might have faced uh, uh, familiarized with many uh, two or three uh, tools to work with uh, not exactly tools of course the platform to work with uh, so you, you you people are working uh, for the past two days to get the assignments done so we i mean uh, the resource person dr giri is very much happy about that uh, so today uh, he he will be taking feedback uh, as far as you concern you feel uh, about the assignment so that we, it will be very easy for us to this uh, to, to to finalize that uh, part of the fd uh, apart from this uh, from from the uh, team of uh, uh, host we, we don't have anything to discuss right now no the session is over to dr kim okay uh, thank you so much madam for that Uh, as she rightly said, we will be having uh, some dis uh, decisions and discussions made based on your uh, uh, opinion. Of course, that's where we wanted to go with. Uh, so, uh, once again, uh, good afternoon, one and all. I, I can see many have joined. A few other also in YouTube uh, uh, videos uh, that is also there. Uh, now, uh, let me show you that if you wanted to watch the previous session, the first session, it is already there in YouTube live. uh for example it is actually 1 hour 40 minute session but due to technical issues and glitches it took more than 2 and a half hour so now you can imagine uh so this is a edited one so all the uh, unwanted things are being deleted and then it's a fine tuned one so if you missed the last uh, previous version you can always uh, watch this if you want to revise or look into it all things are there uh and uh, let me try to use this word right now Uh, uh to be honest with you uh, i didn't do a spoon feeding here because we have to a little bit of explore on our uh, taste and uh, our way of doing things it will be different right the way i do or the way others do will be different for the same process uh so this is one thing that uh, is available in youtube the links are already available or uh, you can and then uh, you can uh, also uh, subscribe so that you get the updates for the uh this one as well as the friday um uh, um uh, uh, streaming also now uh, many of you has asked me a main question was how are we going to submit this assignment uh, uh, report as i already been telling you during the presentation as well as in the group in the slack group that all the assignments to be submitted together uh, in this um, um, particular uh, sheet only after friday so you can do it uh, but uh, the links to be submitted only by uh, so saturday by friday or friday uh, on all this because all the we don't one by and uh, you then i also will you have to paste the link if not after session you can go create them so uh, before starting today's session as usual i am taking a survey uh, with the mentee so this is a great uh, sentence that i liked today a smile can change someone's day so it's it's always good to uh, smile always uh, at others and they will also feel so happy and it makes them their day also anyway moving forward i'm sure you might be hearing some music but that's okay uh, i want you to let me reload it again if that is an issue mm -hmm. if we go to mendy.com and give this number you should be able to see the quiz now you have to enter your name it can be any anonymous name and then submit it Excuse me, sir. Sir, showing an error. Hello. Hello. Excuse me, sir. Sir, it's showing an error that you didn't vote in time. It's twice I have tried. Oh, okay. Uh, just a minute. I'll reset just for this one. 
as well as uh, for this one that should uh, so you have there is a timing here because uh, we cannot spend too much timing on waiting for uh, things so that's why so i'm i just reset it so now it should be you should be able to do it uh, so okay now yes i can see many are there now okay so as you can see there are many people uh, avatars are coming in so now it is starting now you can do it it will show you a, a timer now uh, within that you have to paste it so this is like a, a online quiz a real time so you have one and a half minute to complete so now you can submit any one option yes or no If someone has submitted, please refresh it again and then submit it. Refresh your page and then submit it. Slowly. Sir, the, the same the... slide is coming, sir. Pardon me, sir. A smile yes. can change someone's day. That same slide is coming, sir. Uh, the, on the top, there is an option called as go to the slide. Or you just refresh the page. This is how okay. this is what we're learning. Yeah. When you refresh the page, okay. there will be an option for yes or no. And you have to give the option. Yes, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Once the timer is over, all the results will come up. So 42 people have given. What about others? Others are coming in. Fifteen more seconds to go. So I saw a few of you have already created some menti, uh, uh, but um, so you have to see how things to be done properly. Now the results will come up. I can see twenty nine of them have active LinkedIn account, and sixteen does not have. So please modify or uh, what keep it up to date, and then uh, please post your LinkedIn accounts public links in the assignment form so it's very important that uh, uh, we also have a professional uh, what to say profile uh, as a social it's not a social network it's a professional network thank you so much we are going for the next one next question how was the first session so you you have there will be a um, uh, there is something there so you can uh, um, uh, select the option at the bottom submit button you will get to know Please be frank, it is all anonymous. So I don't know who is submitting it. So go ahead, everybody submit it. Great. Uh, so I saw that three uh, need once more. Uh, let me tell you for three of you, uh, please watch the YouTube video once again. And uh, in the Slack, you can chat with me directly to ask me if there is any specific things so that I could be able to help you. Now, the other two somewhat okay. Uh, of course, if you wanted to disclose, you can always uh, tell what was uh, that you were more expecting. Uh, we can see how with this can be done. Now, good and excellent. I'm so happy to see that. And uh, I'll be accepting this when you submit your assignments successfully. And then I'm so happy to accept this good and excellent uh, uh, feedback. Thank you so much for this. Now we are going to the next uh, session. I mean, next question. How difficult was the assignment that whatever you have done? Uh, if you don't see any uh, change in the slide, on the top, there'll be something called go to slide or you just refresh it. You just give only three options. You can first, second, third. You have to rank which one is first. And then uh, uh, you have to then add which is the rank second. So you can give your option so we can see how many of them have posted it. So this is a ranking based system. Which one is more ranked? It can be asked for different questions also, right? You need to give only first three. Uh, need not to give all five. Okay. Mm. 
more to come it's only 25 is there so more to come Uh, sir, kindly mute yourself, uh, whoever, or uh, uh, Smilan Madam or uh, Rajalakshmi Madam can mute them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Great. So we already got 47. Uh, if there's, oh, okay, 49 already. I can, I'm happy that uh, already 50 people are very active in Menti now. So we are all experts now. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, so I can see there are, uh, um, even though it is less ranked, but still it is uh, very important. Uh, we have to, as a team, we have to go all together. So I can see at least few people did not understand. Few people felt it is very difficult also. So we have to join hands to help them. So what I'm going to propose today is in Slack, um, um, I want uh, uh, people to create channel uh, for people to help each other. I will be also there. So let us help those people who felt it uh, did not understand and very difficult. So we will uh, make them also help uh, them a lot. Uh, so um, please someone take some initiative uh, so that I will also join your uh, team and I mean the channel in Slack to help them out. We At the end of all these three sessions, we want everybody to be on the first top three ranks. Instructions helped, it was fine, understood and was easy. So. Uh, others we need to help them so uh, we will do that support anyway going forward uh, so uh, submission of all assignments this is also another question coming up uh, whether to you have to submit on time you know that saturday is a submission date at 8 p.m at night uh, so uh, sub, we are, whether you think that you have to submit it on time whether you are not interested on doing assignments or do you think too much of task? So what do you feel? At the end of uh, the timer end zero, you will see the results. At the top, you can go to slide or you can refresh your page. You will come to this one. So this is something we are uh, keeping everyone's voting anonymous. So once uh, everyone's voting is finished only, you will see the result. So you don't, others uh, cannot see what is the result and then vote again, not like that. So this is very uh, useful feature. Even for QSS also, you can do that. So I can see already 44 people have uh, uh, submitted, but there are almost 51 people for the last slide has done. You can choose any one option and just, uh, that's all. Or just refresh the page or go to the slide on the top, there is an option. So five more seconds to go. So if you want to submit, make it fast. Okay, that's it. Now we'll see the results. Ah, okay. So uh, not interest, nobody is there. Thank you so much. So you are really serious on doing things. And submit on time, almost 37 uh, people among 46 have voted for submit it on time. So there's a majority there. And only nine of them thought that it is too much of task. Uh, please, uh, nine of uh, you, please discuss with me or the host, um, uh, Dr. Raj Lakshmi or Smilin, Madam, or anyone. Uh, let us see what can be done for you and uh, to help you uh, move forward. So, but this is a really encouraging. Uh, I, I didn't expect... Uh, majority of you are going for submitted on time uh, thank you so much anyway yeah excuse uh, me giri me too i yeah. too di didn't have this <laughs> expectation that majority will come on submit on time because uh, we, we we had that kind of thought while the discussions were going on for the past two days so it is thank you very much your friends like you have voted for submit on time so let yeah. us discuss with other people at the end of the session like how to correct, uh, correct. Yeah. thank you at thank the end of so the much. session sure madam at the end of the session, we will do a little bit of a Q&A session, Q&A session for 
how to complete your assignments if there's any glitches of course i can yeah. help you with that no problem at all yes exactly yeah Thank so, you so uh, i i ultimately agree with everybody that uh, yes we have to give a, a real hands on try Uh, so we have to do a trial and error. I also had difficulties. Uh, she was telling some other participant. So I also had difficulties, but uh, uh, somehow I I did a trial and error method. I finally I was able to successfully do it. That's how we learn. But we will never forget if we learn in that way. Instructions are always going to help you. Uh, just to but you have to have uh, to come out with your own ideas. Anyway, thank you so much for that. So today's agenda. as like last time e learning participant evaluation we did that right now the participation evaluation but our main focus is on hands on we are not focused on anything else and then uh, question and answers so as you all know if you want to ask any questions anonymously without unmuting yourself please uh, go ahead the mentee will be open in this page uh, you can have ask a question and you can put the uh, question and there is one more uh, Uh, fee, uh, feedback thing, which I will do at the end of the session. Now I will go to the uh, my slides and start presenting. So uh, welcome to the second session of uh, today, and uh, thank you so much for those uh, feedback which you have given online. This is really helpful. Now, uh, as you know, uh, all these things, I'm sure you are now expert. Uh, maybe you have explored more options than what I have explored. That's what I want. Uh, please do not share any personal details during this online meeting. Discussions and comments are all my personal views and does not have any connection with any employer, my employer, or any organization. The slides contain content, pictures, videos taken from different articles, webs, lectures, tutorials, and its respective authors on their copyrights and references are given. As as I earlier said, the slides will be available in SlideShare today. I'll be discussing about SlideShare. Video will be uploaded to YouTube and. all your details are given i mean for this instructions are given in guidelines anyway now uh, let me tell you this third point why did i write this sentence copyrights are there others like this this is a very important thing that we have to discuss when we uh, go for online uh, teaching when you go very public if you don't have such disclaimers and you copy paste from something this is again called as plagiarism right so we will discuss that much more in friday with uh, this was also one of the requests during the evaluation right so today we will be covering mostly uh, google slides and docs there are very very interesting features available but i don't know how many of you know that uh, then real time quiz uh, uh, it's something different from mentimeter question and answer and gamification kahoot i'm sure that many of you know it but socrative is something different then content cloud sharing it could be slide share and the script slide share is mostly for presentations as well as documents but script is mostly for documents lectures documents or um, study materials but ensure that you check plagiarism there if it is plagiarized they take your document out so be careful with that and the final one is mooc mooc is uh, uh, for moodle uh, where you want to have a course management system you are generating a course now you wanted to know how to manage my course uh, those things can be uh, done by moodle but uh, moodle has collaborated with nomio g n o m i o uh, so many of our indian institutes are using that platform so uh, we will i will give a, 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 a like a, what to say an intro to that uh, platform too as you already know assignments uh, we will be doing it as on the go and uh, you already know uh, there are several assignments topics being given so that's how it goes e certificates 80% of every session should be attended and watched very important and assignments to be submitted with the deadline as uh, from this today's uh, um, uh, feedback i can see many of you are willing to submit the assignment on deadline taking any time and i really should appreciate that i seen in slack Uh, at one fifteen a.m., uh, one madam was posting her assignment link. Uh, that much dedication is there, so I really appreciate your uh, passion towards learning new things or uh, improving the whatever you already know, and uh, the submission of feedback. So today, what to ex expect is that uh, execution of e-learning 
demo on tools, hands-on and practice. That is what we are expecting today. Now, the smooth online teaching requires some kind of preparation, right? So let's see what are the steps that should be carried out. Preparation and decide on content. You should have what you are going to present through here. It could be anything. You should have the content ready. Or it's not that for today's presentation, yesterday you are sitting and preparing. No. Uh, for whatever I'm telling you today, it's a more than a week uh, preparation work. You might not see much in my slides, but at least I have to prepare them on the others' uh, platforms in order to get ready for you to uh, give hands-on. Step two, decide on which tools to be used. There are plenty of tools. This presentation, I'm using Google Slides. I could have used easily PowerPoint, right? But why did I use this? Because uh, Microsoft Office, you everybody might not be having license to it, right? Some will be using Mac, some will be using Linux. So you might not be having access. So I just choose a, a common platform where everybody can use Google uh, Docs. Anybody has a browser and internet, it works. That's it. Then create and test. You have to create and test, 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 test. So you have to test several times. Otherwise, it will never work. Now, menti.com. You can test yourself. Open another browser, go to menti.com and give the code. The same thing works there, right? So both ways you have to create and then only you will understand how the audience or the students or participants are going to see what you're going to present or do. Next, check the network load and only the contents to present. So the network is a big challenge. As you can see from the previous session, today I still having some network challenges here. Unfortunately, I'm at home. If I was at my office, it's well and good, no problem. I assure you, I, I won't be having any, any problem on power or network. But yeah, we have to move along with it. And then load only the contents to present. So as you see, I have closed all the applications in my computer. I just loaded only what to be presented at this presentation. That's all I have loaded, nothing else. Th that to avoid all confusion. At the end, feel relaxed and start the session with breaks. You should be completely relaxed, nothing nervous. Uh, just go on your pace and style. Don't worry what others think. You know what is better that you created and go with it. And give in between break. Break is much required for the speaker rather than the participant because too much of stress, uh, concentration. So it's not only drinking water helps you to take break. You have to take a break actually. So this five steps actually helps you for a smooth online teaching. I know we are already doing it, but might not be prioritizing things, but we have to do that. Now, again, uh, so we are moving forward to the hands-on that is, uh, which has all our freemium. Freemium means some are free, some you have to pay. First, I want to explain about Slack because already people said, I don't know how to use Slack. Already I have posted a video uh, how to start with Slack. Slack is uh, mostly used by companies and corporates for team management, uh, team communications, for different times, how you want to do. You can install apps also in, in, into the Slack. So this is how you look like uh, a Slack, uh, uh, the left-hand uh, channel window. If you press this particular plus window, you can create new channels. For example, a teacher is going to teach two different classes. So you can create one channel for one class, another channel for another class. And you can make that channel private also. So the other class members does not enter into the the different class. So that is also possible. So you can create new channels and make it private so that you can engage uh, that. Then resources. In our channel, the resources channel, uh, I'll be posting the videos which is going to help you to do assignments or learn tricks and tips and all those things. Please do not post anything there from your side. It will be others you can post and a project we are from like uh, discussing about assignments and others. Another option is, uh, let me see whether it is coming. Mm, yeah, another option is at the bottom, there's a plus here, direct message. If you can, if you want to directly message a person, not only me, any others, you can press that and choose a person, you can directly send a message. So that is called a DM, that is direct message. And then if you go to uh, apps, on the top there is apps, uh, there will be something coming like this. Hope you have noticed when you join the Slack, there's a welcome message coming in automatically. That I have done it through a green bot, uh, greet bot app. So greet bot app helps me to automatically post on behalf of me to welcome you to the group. That is can be done. 
If you want to uh, attach uh, files easily from Google Drive, you can do that. If you want to schedule uh, or if you want to have reminders from calendar, you can do that. So all uh, things can be done within this Slack. It is not a replacement for Facebook, not replacement for WhatsApp. Don't think in that way. It is more of a professional platform to collaborate and communicate each other among the team. For you, the team is class, students, and teachers, right? So that's what you're working on Slack. And if you want to add new apps, it's uh, there are plenty of apps that can be used, and it has its own advantages. Also, I use a lot of them uh, for my uh, team collaboration in the company. So now uh, straight away we are going to Google Slides uh, and the Docs. A uh, few things as you have seen here. So let me show you within this slide itself uh, what to do. Okay. So let me go with the hands-on. So. Uh, as you already know, Google Slide links I have given you in the uh, guidelines page already. A uh, few things I wanted to show you here is if you want to add, uh, uh, before doing this uh, all analysis or putting in the data, we have to understand few things. On your left-hand side, this is what we call it as an outline, just to drag and see which how many slides are there. This is where you're putting the content, which will be visible to the students or participants. At the bottom, you have something called a speaker notes. The speaker notes is very helpful. Let's say you wanted to make certain points and you wanted to tell that during the presentation. Now, if you have a two screen, like two monitors available, this uh, speaker notes will be visible in one monitor and the other monitor will, uh, will be showing you the presenting slide. Now, speaker note typing is a bit difficult, right? You have already typing here and again, you need to type here, a bit difficult. So let me show you something very interesting here. So you need to go to tools and then click on voice type speaker notes and ensure that you are using Chrome browser. It works only in Chrome browser, not in any, any other browser. You can choose your language. I would recommend to go for English India and then I'm going to speak and it is going to type. So let me click this, click to speak. It becomes red. Hi everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about Google Slides and Docs. This will be helping us to set the templates and also demonstrate the animations, in insertion of video, also scheduling through Google Calendar. This will also help us to create speaker notes, which will be really helpful for uh, presenting by the speaker, and it will be a reference, not what to talk, what not to talk. See, it actually typed whatever I spoke. Ensure that you have internet in order to do this. There'll be here and there some uh, corrections required, but it is very easy, right? You need not to type, I didn't type anything, I'm just telling. Now, another surprising thing is also there. I know some may be already knowing, but still. Apart from English, you also have Tamil. Let's say you have, there's a Tamil teacher in this group. So, Tamil. Just a minute. Mm, yes. Oh, no, sorry, I didn't record. Sorry. <laughs> I have to click this. I don't know Tamil, but uh, check it out if it is correct or not. The same way, uh, you have other languages also. Uh, let's say Hindi. Um, so this is very uh, easy for you to make notes because I know I am very lazy to type these speaker notes, right? Because uh, sometimes I need, uh, if there's too much slides, I need to have everything packed up. Uh, I shouldn't miss anything because I don't put everything on the slide. I put only keywords and then I explain. That is usually I do it. And pictures will be there. But I shouldn't miss some points, so I usually do this. So Hindi, tumara naam kya hai? Some of the easiest one, right? <laughs> so. Uh, some Hindi participants are here, so please uh, evaluate whether this is correct or not. So this is something that uh, we have to start using it so that we don't miss what to tell people when you're having a larger time presentations uh, available for you, right? So uh, that is done. I, I, I'm sure many of you might be knowing about this, right? Uh, another thing is that um, if you want to add a, a video to this, so in order to that, you go to insert, then save video. When you're adding video, there are 
three, four different options. One is you can search Google. Let's say I'm searching Google with my name, Girinath Pillai. And my videos all came up, whatever I have uh, done videos have come. So let me choose this video, uh, this one, and then select. That video gets embedded here now, okay? And when I'm going to present, this video will play. Ensure you, you have internet because this is going to play from YouTube. You can say from which it to start up to what it should play. While I'm presenting without clicking any button, automatically it should play. It should mute audio or anything, you can do that. In order to make this as an animation, that, like that, when I click, then only it should come. You click on this and then uh, go to say insert, um, sorry. I think I have to, um, I think I am, I cannot do that. It is possible, but I don't know why I'm not getting it. Let, I'll check that. So now if I guess give present, let me say I'm going to this slide, okay? And when I go to the next slide, that's it, automatically it plays. Ensure that you have internet. If you don't have internet, it won't work, right? So this is a video now, let me show you, it, it plays, right? So this is how you can add a YouTube video. Let's say uh, you have already a video in your uh, Google Drive. So you can go to Google Drive and then you can uh, pick in uh, which is the video that you require. So let me uh, take a video which uh, I already had. Uh, uh, I don't know which one is it. These are some of the uh, human AI videos and others. So you can, uh, oh, maybe uh, this one, JMOL tutorial video. Yes, yes. So this I just uh, loaded from my Google Drive. So first I will load it to Google Drive and then I again see autoplay and then I press in. So this is also possible. See, it is playing. It, this is not from YouTube. This is from my Google Drive. But ensure that you, again, you have internet here. Let's say uh, you don't have internet. You are um, presenting it to a local people. I mean, in front of you, not in internet. You can insert a file from your computer. That is also possible. So it's better that uh, you also have it in Google Drive. That is uh, much more preferred. And then you use it here, or you can give the URL directly or the Google Drive. So shared drive, shared, all, all those things can be included. If you want to put a picture, insert image, either you can upload or search also. You can search here directly. If I search again, very selfish guy, again, always searching my name only. So um, see no images found, uh, no public images found for Girina. So let's search again, uh, Trichy. Maybe some, yeah, pictures came up for Malakote. So I just click on it. Uh, and then at the bottom, you have something called as insert and then insert it. The picture gets comes here automatically. The picture is here now. So either you can search from internet and uh, take it, that is also possible. If you want to upload yourself, again, I told you upload from computer can be taken or you can directly take from a camera, that is also possible. If you want to draw a chart, diagram, all those things are possible here. Now let's say uh, you wanted to do a uh, um, animation. So I have uh, one um, text here. This is one part and I have a second part here. Let's imagine like that. I wanted to explain this uh, concept here in two different ways. I mean, two different parts. I'll color this into a different color for just for identification purpose, okay? Now I go to insert and I will say animation and I will say, uh, come in only when I click, right? And I press in it. So when I press in, the second part will not come until I press the button. So arrow button, uh, right, uh, left, right uh, arrow, or even the space bar is also fine. So when I click on that, you can see now that is coming. If you want it to come automatically, like by itself without clicking anything, you just click on this and say on click, with that, you can say with the previous or after previous. And then you play uh, present, automatically it came. So let me show you that. I came here, it automatically, I didn't uh, press any button. 
So these are the options that is available. Animations are really required when you wanted to explain some uh, um, some particular part uh, one by one rather than showing everything because this will help uh, the audience and the students to focus on a specific area rather than looking at everything before listening to you. So uh, these animations are really important, right? So I covered, uh, uh -uh, one more thing. Before doing all this stuff, you need to set your design template, uh, which is very important. I can see that a lot of uh, chats are coming. Uh, please uh, take care of it. I am not able to see the chat. Uh, so uh, you have to set the design template. For example, if you want to change the color, all those things you can do. So let me show you that also. So if you click here on the theme, okay, on the right hand side. So if you click on the theme here, uh, you will get on the right hand side that uh, different kinds of styles and themes are available. On the internet, if you search for Google slide themes, you can still get many more. In that case, you click this import theme and you just import it to it. Into this, both are possible. So when you click uh, things, it will change. I'm not going to change now because I selected the color. And if you want to change the background, you can click on background. Design template is something different. You have to go to view and master. In your PowerPoint is also, it is there, uh, master slide show. When you see here, FDB to June 17, 2020, I added it here actually. When I added it to this template, automatically, wherever I'm going to create a new slide, this format will come automatically. You will see something a Giri bio, which is like, like a watermark in this slide. I created in this particular master, okay? And I reformatted it. Let me show you a new slide so that you will see. Uh, So uh, 
G suit. Uh, yes, this is what I was trying to tell you. Uh, so you can uh, give the specific email address and then uh, you can uh, share with them. They will be also able to edit. Now let's imagine that uh, they are editing, uh, but uh, you found that something they made wrong, uh, which you corrected it earlier. So in that case, what you can always do is uh, you can go to file and there is something called as version history. You see version history. At the right hand side, you will get to know who has edited it. So based on who has edited it, it will be easy for you to restore it to that previous uh, 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 version so that you don't lose anything. So you made some corrections. Okay, and then your collaborator, your colleague made some uh, corrections, but that was a mistake. But you wanted to go back to the previous version. You just click on this. And then if you click on this, it will, there will be a button coming and restore this version and you can go back. I'm not going to do this because this is for demo purpose I'm doing this. So even if someone is ma making mistake, don't worry. Don't shout at them. <laughs> you can always <laughs> recover yeah. the previous version. <laughs> 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 Uh, can you please mute? Yeah, okay. So, uh, uh, no problem. Thanks. Thank you. So, um, this is what happens when you wanted to uh, revise your history, like uh, version history can be revised. If you want to download it as a PPT, like in a PowerPoint, you can download it. You can download it as a PDF. If someone is still using uh, Open Office or Libre, uh, you can download it as ODP, uh, which works in Linux, or picture, anything, you can download it. Let's say you're preparing a picture for your publications in the slide, and you want to download it as a PNG or JPEG uh, to send it to publication. That is also possible, right? So these options are already here available if you want to make a copy of this, because if I want to, so to be honest with you, I made a copy of the session one, and then change the color, that's all I did, and then started doing it, because I wanted to use the same template. That's why I made it uh, uh, like uh, make a copy. Or if you want to import your slides, like let's say you have PPT already prepared in PowerPoint and you want to import it, that is also possible, but there will be some modifications to be done on the design and uh, font size, those things to be done. So there should be some, Uh, so there should be some uh, modifications uh, required. Uh, just let me check if something is okay. Because I heard my own my own echo. Okay, it seems to be fine. Okay. Okay, so uh, apart from that, uh, there is one more interesting thing is that uh, you can uh, check uh, the word meaning and others. So let's say uh, template. Uh, what does this template means? You can click the right button and say define template. So click the right button and say define template. Now it will search internet and tell you what is the uh, dictionary, kind of a dictionary, how to pronounce template. So uh, what the pronunciation and noun and explanations can be achieved if you are connected to internet. Uh, as I earlier told you that you can also make this as uh, offline. I, this is already offline, that's why this is. So if you want to, even if internet is not there, you want to work on it and edit it, you can always do. You can say make off, uh, make available offline, you can click it. Okay, uh, so these are the options. And then finally, uh, you can add-ons. Add-ons means this is again something similar to Slack apps. If you want to add some additional uh, add-ons to it, you can do it. There are plenty of add-ons available. I don't want to show everything. Slido is something again, something similar to Mentimeter or Socrates where you want to take a question and answers or poll during the presentation itself within the slide itself. You are not going out of Google uh, Slides. Mentimeter, I was doing it outside the Google Slides, right? This can be done within um, the slide itself. So that is one uh, advantage. And uh, uh, there are many other uh, um, ads also, I mean, apps or add-ons are available. We will be working on one add-on on Friday uh, to generate a certificate on forms. So we will be doing uh, using an add-on. Here, I'm not doing anything right now, not to disturb our flow. 
uh, even you can draw things also now let's say you wanted to put a drawing here right in order to do a drawing you you can do it here within the slide like uh, drawing the line uh, arrows scribble whatever things but there is a dedicated drawing app for google i don't know how many of you are aware of that if you go to google drive click on new and then more and click on google drawings and then you will get a canvas kind of a page where you can draw things here so there also you have the same similar options what you saw in slides so either you can use a slides or drawing specifically here this also can be shared as i was uh, what what i was showing you earlier so this is mainly for drawing advantage here is the background will be uh, like uh, transparent so if you if you want to uh, designing a logo or drawing something if you want to put it on something else so this will be as a background will be transparent so that is one advantage in the slides you can make transparent but by default there will be white as a background so these are the differences here okay so uh, this is about the slides as we discussed last session we will take all the question answers at the end in order not to waste the time so i uh, and finally uh, to show you three more options in uh, uh, the uh, google slides at your right hand side there is three buttons here one is called calendar if you click on that calendar itself if you wanted to uh, schedule a class with your student or some of your participants you just double click on a specific time or date you can go you click here and say 24th um, and you wanted to do it at 5 pm you just double click on 5 pm that the title of the uh, slides will come automatically the slide also will get attached attach means they can access through a link that's all it's not that they are getting a copy and then you can invite them and uh, you can save it it will be in your agenda and then later you can share it also that is also possible or you can add the guest so you can add uh, the email addresses of all the participants and you can uh, share with them another thing is that you think that you want to make some notes you don't want to put it in the speaker notes but you want to pick keep it as a separate note because when you were preparing this slide you came to know something extra and you want to make a note this is under keep.google.com keep.google.com so take a note and you can start typing the advantage with the keep.google.com is uh, again very interesting let me show you that uh, i want to show you this anyway so let me show you that i have a lot of uh, documents in my uh, keep.google.com hopefully it is not confidential let me see <laughs> mostly this kind of uh, urls and data that i have been um, uh, surfing yeah as you can see a lot of data here so this is my keep.google or i was just uh, all the drafts everything will be here but something interesting here is let me take a note here uh, and uh, uh okay yeah those are fine so i i i'll say uh, scribble something what do you what do you want to do and then you give a color and you can add an image you can collaborate all those things can be done you can type if you want to add an image you can add an image by clicking it so it will ask for the image and then if you want to download it or if you want to add a drawing that can be also done so then the page comes like this so this is something called as whiteboard if you wanted to teach your uh, students want to write if you want to write something so um, hi very difficult uh, using you need to have a good mouse to write this <laughs> yesterday i saw my for my daughter they were teaching letters in hindi so they were using the similar platform anyway so keep.google has this option of writing also uh, but there are advanced devices available like a pen tablet pens are available so it will be connected as a bluetooth to your laptop you can write as you write as a pen and that comes on the screen that is also possible okay so keep.google.com helps you to share your whiteboard from your screen ensure that you have internet if you don't have internet there is another software available which we will discuss on friday not today if you want to have a, a, a grid or a single line like a book all those things can be available here uh, but a very difficult to write as a sentence but if you want to draw something 
uh, okay, this is a graph, uh, this is something I want to concentrate. That is something easy. But to write would be difficult. But if you want to show some representations, much easier. So I, I, I was using just my mouse to draw this circle, okay? So it, it's, it's fine, right? And then you uh, cross it and then you say uh, this part, like a chalk, whatever you are trying to do uh, a representation. Anyway. So this will be stored, uh, uh, fortunately or unfortunately. Uh, so you can reuse it later or you can discard it. That will be there in the keep.google.com, uh, always in your account. So this is one feature. Anyway, going back, uh, back to here. Uh, and then if you wanted to add a task, task means, okay, I finished three slides. Now I want to assign the task to one of my co uh, colleague. He or she has to do the task, add a task. And you can type uh, complete uh, uh, fifth slide. Complete uh, fifth slide. And then you enter it. So that if you finish it, then you tick mark and then it's gone. So this is just a reminder for you, okay, what to do next, to do task. So of course, it, it takes time for you to put all these things and typing, but this always reminds you. For I use tremendously a lot of these reminding tools, to-do tasks, calendar reminders, because I'm being flushed with many things in between. So it, these are always helping me as a assistant for me to, personal assistant for me to remind things and do things on time. Still, I am late on some things. Anyway, we are humans. So uh, that is all uh, I have to do with uh, Google Slides. Uh, and if you want to present, you can present. Uh, but this present will start from that particular slide. But if you want to present from the beginning, you click this and say present from beginning. Okay. And then it will start from the beginning. So this is uh, one. Next, uh, I am going to docs. So here you have the docs. Hope you remember the guidelines I prepared completely using Google Docs. Okay. All this footer, header, everything I have given using Google Docs. Okay. So in the Google Docs also, you have the same option for... Uh, Sharing, downloading, everything is same, okay? I'm not going to repeat all those things. See, download, you can download as a docx file, ODT file, PDF file. Version history is also the same thing. Share options are also same thing. Now, you can, one more option here in uh, doc is, let's say you want to send this for someone to review. You want, they wanted to review uh, uh, this one. So when students do internship with me, I ask them to put it on Google Docs and uh, they send it to me. What I do is I click on this editing mode to suggesting mode, okay? So I go to suggesting mode and then here I'll say, uh, please uh, uh, update to yes, some text. Now when, I, when my student sees it or the person who created see, they will see in a different color. That means it is not yet added to the text. It is like a tracking mode in your Word file. So you can either accept it or reject it, right? So if you accept it, it will be part of the text. Now you can see it is black color. If you, I, I'm undoing it, okay? If I reject it, it won't be there. So it is like a tracking mode in your word, the same thing here. But you have to go to suggesting mode for doing that, okay? So this is one additional here if you want to review or give suggestions for the... So you're not disturbing the main text, but you make suggestions. Okay, now the same thing which we did last time. You can also, if you want to type a story or you're writing an article or you wanted to uh, give some explanation of text or something, click this and start doing it. I'm addressing a group of uh, teachers uh, here in this online session. Keep in mind why there was a lot of suggestions coming here. It's because I'm in suggest mode, okay? So even I can put that as a suggestion, or if I want to, do not want to have that, all these things, you always be in edit mode. By default, it is in edit mode, okay? Great to have all the teachers coming online to discuss and learn new things. Even if they know already these platforms, there might be some options still not explored. And this is going to help them to collaborate, communicate, and also transfer the knowledge to the students who are to learn. That's it.
it doesn't PowerPoint slides doesn't have. Yes, they do have, but you need to add additional softwares to make it to work. So that is a difference here. Yeah. Oh, anyway, uh, uh, this is not any part of this. I just deleted it. Okay. Now again, here also you have can insert image, drawing, same things, but not videos. Why do we require a video in the doc file, right? Images as usual. You can have tables. You can add as usual in the Word document. This is something great that uh, special characters. Uh, for example, you wanted to add beta. You just type beta rather than searching everywhere. And sorry, uh, I messed up with the spelling. Degree Celsius. So it just pops up with the special character. And also, uh, you can even uh, go to insert and equation. As you see, you, as you can see here, the equation helps you with uh, upper script, lower script. So that will be here. All these options are here to create equations. This is similar to Microsoft equation. I have used Microsoft equation. It's very easy for you to put superscript, subscript, divided by all those things can be added here also. The same thing can be done here, okay? So equations also can be generated. Max teachers, physics teachers, that is your bread and butter anyway. Excuse me. The headers and footer, header is something what I, the, like this, this is called header. The top part portion, what I showed, this is header. At the bottom, uh, if I double click on this, this is the footer. So this is what uh, header and footer. Here also we have something similar to add-ons. For docs related add-ons are also available so that you can add uh, similar add-ons uh, here, uh, whatever feasible. Please search online what these add-ons are for and then you can add it, okay? Um, the same calendar, keep, uh, task, all options are available here. Uh, then uh, picture editing is also available. It's all similar to Google, uh, sorry, Microsoft Word, so I'm not uh, going much beyond. Ah, line spacing. If I selected this, if you want to change the spacing, line spacing to single or 1.5 or double, all those things can be done. Okay. So, and uh, if you want to make bullets, numbers, intent uh, to move this side or that uh, left or right, if you want to insert this air meet with a link, you can click on this hyperlink so that the link will come. That's how I did all this join the workspace. So if you click here, uh, this link I inserted in that way. Okay. Uh, so I think mostly I covered uh, nothing much. Most of the other things is very commonly known to everybody. So I do. Ah, one more very important thing, then I will finish it off. Dictionary, anyway, I told you what are the possible things. If you want to translate your document, that is also possible. So I, I used to use Google Docs for translating some uh, Tamil or Malayalam uh, PDF to uh, English based. Uh, it won't be looking good, but still I can read the things based on the translations, what happened. So it has that uh, feature. So uh, that is, uh, if you have a PDF with uh, a different language, that could be also changed. That is advantage here. So, okay. Uh, one th main thing I want to tell you is, let's say compare documents. Let's say you sent your student for some review. They made a lot of changes without tracking mode. Now you want to know what is the difference. So you can have two documents loaded into your Google Drive and then click on compare uh, documents. And then you have to choose which is the uh, uh, attribute that you have to include on comparing things. And then you can include the comments. So single document saying what is the difference between uh, with uh, uh, document B. So uh, this feature is also available in the Word document, but here in Google Docs also it is uh, available. So uh, with this, I'm taking a break. Uh, uh, so maybe for two minutes uh, or three minutes, we can join by four. So before 12. go for, uh, I mean, break. Now people have queries on uh, uh Are we proceeding now or after the break that we are going for the... To be After the break, let them also take a break. Okay, fine. Thank you.
Okay, so uh, we can answer the questions so that uh, we will uh, we will cover some of the break time when so, others are joining. Uh, yes, uh, Giri, yes. Now the thing is, uh, the first query uh, was: Is this different? I mean, this low, I mean, Slido is different from uh, protein PPT, uh, which is offered in OS, irrespective of OS, direct from Google. So I'm I'm not sure whether it is a statement or a query. Just be. Shall I read everything or one by one? Will uh, we'll go for one by one quickly. So Slido yeah. is this a, is the first question. Slido is a question and answer and a polling uh, website. Now let me be very clear. Google Docs, irrespective of what OS you are using, you let you use Windows XP. Don't care. But you need to have Chrome. Chrome only gives you all those features. Chrome browser is required. So irrespective of your OS, you need to have Chrome browser, internet connection. That's it. Chrome or Chromium or Brave. These are the three uh, browsers which support that. Other browsers also it will work. But this audio typing, all those things works only in Chrome, not in any other browsers it will work. So don't get confused why it is not working for me. Then Slido is as uh, Slido. Why Slido and uh, PPT is different? In PPT, in uh, Google Slide also you can take quant, uh, question and answers, right? Uh, there also you can take uh, question and uh, answers uh, poll is there, but uh, that is something different. Slido means you can take polls also, real time answers in uh, question answers in a different way. In Google Slides, real time you can take only question answers, no poll, no feedback, nothing. Or they can type and submit. That's all. So there's a big difference there. So you can, if you add it as an add-on, you can in integrate Slido into the Google Slides so that you don't have a two separate uh, window. It will be within your presentation, right? Uh, there are multiple ways that can be used. Yes, madam. Next. Now the same. Uh, 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 now, sir, the same question is asked by Dr. Sujata Ilangovan. I think the same uh, explanation is okay for her also. Okay. And the next question is asked by, uh, uh, sir, can you repeat the master slide manipulation by Sri Shakti, Dr. Sri Shakti? Okay. okay. So she I'll quickly show. Everybody. Yeah, I'll quickly show, but I ensure that you, uh, after the session, go to YouTube and you watch it again by rewinding. So uh, in order to go to master, you have to go to view menu and then click on master. Okay. And whatever modifications you want to do, you do whatever modifications but uh, ensure that you are uh, modifying which uh, which title so you have on a right uh, left hand side you can select the layouts the master is your slide so this is the master but layouts are different layouts so the each layout you have to modify if you wanted to modify but i mostly modify only the main layout where i am going to put all my content of my slides once you made the modification you can add a insert uh, text box you can add in a text box but that ensure that whatever you are adding here that will be present in all your slides all your layer that because this is a standard template once you have done finishing doing that you just click on this so the master goes goes out so whatever you have done it will be there the same way if you want to change a layout let's say i am in this particular slide now i wanted to change the layout click the right button on the slide and then there is something called apply layout. So you can choose which layout you want to choose. Let me choose uh, this one. This is the layout I chose now. You can see now it has changed. The color has changed. 
or if I change uh, the layout to back to the old one, uh, this is the layout which I had. So layouts also can be changed in this way. Yes, ma'am. Now oh, the next question is about the uh, slide layout in Google Slides. The next question, I think, I, think I already uh, answered. Yeah. yeah. Now the next, how to make, uh, I mean, enable the voice typing in Google Slides again. Now, uh, as I told Dr. you, Khamer, if you are using, asking, yeah, if you are using the latest version of Chrome browser, not any other Chrome specifically, then only it will work. In order to work, open a doc or uh, even in a slide. In, within the slide, you cannot type uh, audio. You have to go to speaker notes. At the bottom, speaker notes, click there, and then go to tools and click on voice type speaker notes, and you will be able to do it. Okay. okay. Now the next is Google Slides, a replacement of usual PPT, or is the question raised by again me? See, uh, I'll put it in a different way. Let's say if I go to uh, 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 only a XYZ company mobile showroom, I can buy only XYZ, nothing else. But if I go to a normal local shop, I can buy XYZ, I can buy ABC, I can buy 123, I can buy 879. Different companies say it's my option. The same way, this is a one of the alternate for whatever software that you are using. It is up to you how you want to productively use. Why I prefer Google Slides means because uh, anytime I can make changes in any platform. For example, if let's say I have a, a PowerPoint or Open Office or Libre or WPS, these are all offline softwares which you put it in your computer. Now let's say I went for a trip, but immediately I want to present. They asked me, can you present? But my computer is not with me. How will I present? But if it is in Google Docs, I just simply log into my account. From there, their computer itself, I can present. That is what. So it is your personal choice on what platform you want to use, but it is not a replacement. These are alternate uh, uh, methods or tools. You have to make use choosing your right. So that's what I told you in the in this particular mantra. You need to decide on which tools to be used based on the situation, data, audience, and different things. So uh, to, today I might be using this. Tomorrow I'm not be using that. I might be using PowerPoint presentation. So it is different. Now, two faculty have requested, uh, is it possible to download the Google Slides in the computer desktop or how to download the Google Slides? The same As I same already question. shown you, go to File, Download. Then you have options like uh, PPTX, PDB, or PDF. All those files are available. Okay. You, you okay. can download in that uh, file. Uh, I mean, this Google Slide has many facilities for more creative PPT. A question mark. I don't know whether it is a question or a statement. I won't, that the, I won't tell that way. The same PPT I can make it in PowerPoint. It's how you spend time on making them. That's a question. Uh, when you see some colors are there, yeah, there are some themes which has this color supporting here. But uh, of course, you can make the same thing in PowerPoints also. If you ask me, most of my company presentations or when I go for some professional meetings. I never use Google Docs because it's all confidential, right? I don't want to put in the net. So I used to use PowerPoint presentations. Only. So it's how you are creative on choosing colors and text. That's all. Will it be work in Windows 7? Any platform, as I said. But it should have Chrome browser. If you wanted to just prepare the slides, any browser is fine. Only for that audio and specific ad. So that we cannot do anything. That is. Okay. 
the next is what should be our preference for using mentimeter versus slido um slido for me it was a little bit uh, not say difficult i need to spend little more time to create this question answers polls and all but mentimeter was so simple for me to do it so slido is also fine i, I know many of you are using slido i have also used slido in uh, teaching classes but not mentimeter so it it is different uh, scenario mentimeter i mostly use for online meetings but the slido i mostly use for classroom when there are more than 10 people uh, or 20 people for question answers like quiz and other, we will be covering up we are going ahead but i'm no i won't be showing slido today i'll be showing socrative and coffee and all that all all done you can proceed with your uh, i mean uh, okay great great i hope uh, we just got a little bit of uh, break a warm up uh, so that we can continue with the session i can see 50 participants on the this platform and around 30 in the youtube no now it is 20 yeah so on youtube also okay they have gone for a, i mean they are saying the voice is gone in youtube so the people are struggling to join it back again that oh. is the thing in youtube yeah oh okay i didn't know that or uh, sometimes in between yes okay great so uh, i think uh, you are well versed uh, with uh, of course we need to have a little more uh, hands on there then you will have a much more understanding and now we will go with the kahoot and socrative kahoot and socrative is mainly for instant quiz and kahoot is mainly gamification i don't think we need to do a gamification for a college level students uh, they might get bored but for school students yes gamifications really helps them to get them attracted to do something for example uh, i i give real example so that's why again referring to my daughter so she started doing something called coding she's age of 8 years if i say she's doing coding everyone will get wondered right so what they did is there's a website called code.org they made they gamified the coding mechanism there so a small kid who can understand english can do the coding there that's how they have done it so that is the learning process i never learned coding until i <laughs> graduated after ms or, or even after that also but at the age of 8 they are getting a glimpse about what is coding if we do this action what is going to make the changes in the application so that is called gamification uh, without age barrier you can learn something uh, in on their own level of understanding that is called gamification then you can conduct test uh, we will have a very detailed test uh, analysis on the friday where we use class marker in the class marker we have a very well versed uh, exam that you can conduct online with the time limit negative marking everything can be taken care even google form also gets instant feedback and submit later formats like not like mentimeter uh, you can take the exam later any time wherever you want and you submit it that is also possible so directly we will go to those platforms so this is a website for uh, socrative uh, so socrative uh, is again a classroom app for fun effective engagement on the fly assessments is not only for kids <laughs> as you see a kid there but uh, it was also used for um, uh, college uh, studies also i have already created an account now if you go to uh, socrative.com if you go to the website called socrative.com i can type it here so www.socrative.com and there will be something called login in the login you say teacher lo uh, sorry student login okay you need not to sign up anything right now only for teacher you have to sign up i hope you have you are signing up in all the websites which i mentioned in the guidelines so when you go to um, uh, sign in as a student uh, then there is an option it is asking for room number or room name you just give the room name as nairo india n y r o india i n d i a so you will be able to see uh, uh, the quiz and if you submit the results i will be able to see the answers also so some multiple choice option right so i can see someone submitted already the answer 
uh, they choose the option C, right? So this is again, uh, again a, a feedback system, but a feedback not like asking something else, but we are more asking uh, like a question and answer. Instantly, I can create a uh, true or false question also while I'm talking to you right away. Now you can see five people have entered the room, but only two have answered the result. That's that's what. Don't worry, you put some options wherever you see. This is just an exercise. So if I want, I can add a, um, add another question like a true or false. Yeah, I can see five students were there in that uh, room. All five answered. Now I added a true or false. I can see four people are in the room. One, two already answered and more to come. So this is something room-based. So you can ask, you can create rooms, all those. But being it's a free account, you can create only one room at a time. It's free, right? That's why. <laughs> so otherwise, this is like a real-time asking questions and doing that. Mentimeter means you have to create them ahead and then you can present. But this means while I'm teaching itself, I can create a question. That is that is the best part here, right? Uh, I can see already 10 people are in the room. Only eight answered. So this will give you an idea about this is called Socrative. Uh, how do I know all these things? Because when I was doing my, I did my PhD uh, from US as well as uh, together with uh, Europe, uh, Estonia. So I used to take uh, courses on e-learning as well as on uh, uh, Moodle, like uh, MOOC uh, courses. So, and uh, also a startup kind of entrepreneurship. So there they used to teach us all these tools. Way back in 2011, 12, I'm talking about something like uh, nine years back. And now I'm using it for teaching you guys anyway. So, uh, yeah, I can see 13 people have enrolled in the room now. So, and all 13 have answered. So this is how you engage. So this is like a quest, real time quest you can create, right? This is mainly for quiz. It can be true or false. It, it can be a short answer. Now let, let me give it for short answer. Uh, so, Allow unlimited reference, require student names. All those options can be given here. Okay, I'm not taking too much time here in Socrative. Play around, so sign up for as a teacher, and then you'll be able to create the students. Now, how to work all those things? They have a lot of videos in their website itself. You will be able to do it. So when you're creating itself, it will ask for a room name. You just give the room name. I can change the room name. And that room name to be used by the student in order to submit the answers. So that's how it works, okay? You can see at the bottom, they are saying that more than one, you have to have, be a Socrative Pro, professional version, you have to pay for that. So Socrative is done. Now I'm going to Kahoot, okay? Kahoot is more of a gamification. Gamific I don't recommend too much for uh, college students. Uh, they might feel, what is this like so much kidding? But uh, some things are really good here. So. Uh, I don't say Kahoot is bad, but uh, some things are really good. It's the way you create it that is important. But uh, the advantage with Kahoot is that there are already predefined uh, quizzes already there, but not might not be something for your studies, but already they have something uh, generally created for general purpose, okay? Or some other people have created and gave it online. Uh, this is more of a gamification, so I don't give too much importance here because it's more of uh, I know most of you are teaching uh, master students, so <laughs> I don't I don't know how much you are looking at. But there are some few things. That, these are already made ones. It's not that we made it, but we also have the options to make it. So let me go for this photosynthesis review, or maybe wires. We are in this uh, pandemic situation. Let me see how many of you are able to go through this uh, particular quiz on virus basics. Okay, I, I clicked on that and I can now play. I can now ask my students or anybody who wanted to do that. So now everybody be ready. Uh, the screen will be showing about the Kahoot also. Now you can also create it. Here there is a button called create. So you click that button. You can create your own questions or you can use a template also can be possible. Okay, please play around it. I have not asked assignment for Kahoot because I'm not sure whether you're going to like it and use it, uh, but I don't use it, uh, to be honest. It's not because that it is bad. It is because I didn't get a 
situation where to use it because I had other things. Okay, so let me show you uh, just to give a glimpse about how this gamification is. And now I'm clicking play. After you create the same thing you have to do, you click play. I'm going to teach because I'm going to show it in the screen and you will be able to see it. Now Kahoot is loading. And uh, so free version can accept only 50 players. I think we are only 50 who is going to anyway respond. Now on the slide on the screen, it is showing, please go to www.kahoot.it and give the number 170063. So once you join, I'll get to know. So please join. Yeah, I can see two. It will ask for names. You can give any name. It's not necessarily your original name if you're reluctant to show. So once all the players join, we will start. So already 10 players are there. Please make it fast. Yes, good. So you can change the music, color, everything is there. Change lobby music. Uh, that's what I said. It's just like, uh, okay, already 28 players of this. So shall I start? Not waiting too much for others because I hope everybody has joined. Okay, still people are joining. Okay. Sorry, guys, for others, in order to maintain the timings, I have to move forward. I'm going with the 30 players. Now you will have questions now with the timer. There will be 16 questions. And it will ask a question. How do virus enter healthy cells? Now you have to select. There will be a leaderboard. It will tell you how many of you <laughs> selected the right answer. It will tell you if it's a wrong answer. I can see many of you are putting the answers already. Five answers are already up. Yeah, many answers are coming up now. Okay, time is up. And I can see nine people have answered the right answer. Okay. Now, um, now the um, uh, thing with the Kahoot is that the person who is going to answer as fast as possible will be getting more uh, marks. So if you are slow, you will get lower marks. That's why you see the difference here in all of them. Uh, other, uh, some people took longer time. Okay. Next, I'll take two more questions and then we'll move forward. Okay. Once inside, virus usually replicate or multiply. I can see that. There's, this is timed one. Okay. So it's true. 12 people uh, said it correctly. Again, who is top? Uh, some other person came top, right? See. So this is kind of a leader. The leaderboard is again available in Menti also. It is available. So Menti also has leader scoreboard. I disabled it for today's session. After this uh, question, we'll go to the uh, next platform. When a virus invades a living organism, the living organism becomes the virus dash. Protein coat, host, genetic material, none of the above. Five more seconds to go. Oh, now I can see many of them are fast. There is like 30 answers already. Okay. The it becomes the becomes the the virus as host. So 16 people answered it correct. Let's see who is now top. Uh, okay, one seven zero two six three became the top uh, scorer now. So this is how it is. Uh, see um, and uh, Doctor. Uh, Rikchisa Patel uh, answered three questions correctly. Now, even though she cor uh, correctly answered, why she went down? Because the fastness in answering the question. You have to make your decisions much quicker. Okay, so I'm taking the quiz and uh, not to continue because there are quick 16 questions available. I just ended the quiz and then it will show something. Who is first and uh, uh, second and third? 
So this is kind of a gamification what we are trying to say. It all does automatically. Your job is to just create uh, creative questions and answers. And there are runner up three and uh, just see someone. That's it. So this is called a Kahoot. Uh, you make your decision whether to use or not, okay? So, but my recommendations would be Menti and Socrative as well as Google Forms quiz uh, platforms. And tomorrow, whatever I'm going to show that is a, a class marker. These are my personal recommendations. So that's how it is. So after all these things, uh, we are going to, uh, yeah, one more is there is uh, content sharing. Yeah, content sharing. Let me go through that first. Then I'll go to Moodle. So uh, your today's assignment is that you have to create a slide, slides in Google Slide. Minimum of 10 slides. Please hear, listen carefully. Minimum of 10 slides. It can be your class, whatever it to be. Uh, it can be anything with pictures, without pictures, animations, everything should be there. Uh, create it, then download it as a PPT file. Go to slideshare.com.net. Ensure that you have a LinkedIn account before that. You need a LinkedIn account there in order to join slides. It is recommended. And then upload your slides to here. And keep in mind, please be serious while you're preparing the slides because this will be going to be public. In SlideShare, you have an option to make it public or even um, a private, right? You can make it public or private. But uh, uh, so make that sure that uh, uh, you know what you're doing. So this is uh, my SlideShare. This is the same place where I'm going to upload these slides what I was presenting to you. Now, how to upload? After logging in, you go to upload button, select the files to upload. It could be PDF or anything or PPT file. Once you're uploaded, it will show you this uh, format. Let me show you. a license. Before choosing what is a license, please read about this online itself. Nobody is going to teach you. It, uh, it is a big ocean. So try to check online uh, what is it actually it is. And then uh, try to understand uh, what are these uh, licenses uh, means and choose the right option of uh, licensing. Okay. And then upload it. It will be live and uh, you just share this link, uh, whatever that is coming up. This is mainly for a uh, slide share. Now it's not only for uploading. You can also search for others presentation also. Okay. So you can search others presentation. You can, I don't think every presentations you can download it. You might be able to watch mostly. Okay. The other platform for sharing is called script. Script, as I told you, it's not mainly for presentation, but for documents. You have to sign up and create an account here. You can see I have some documents already here, some descriptor list and all, which I have created uh, uh, during 2012. So I was using this platform since 2011, 12, and all. So, or uh, even I have some database in cyberspace. Uh, I created an Autodoc uh, tutorial back in 2011, which is updated in script. So that's what I'm saying. So, and oh, okay, I can see 2008 documents also, which I was not. Too old for me to remember those things anyway. Great, uh, but uh, keep in mind, script is not free, it is paid. As you upload, they give you access rights. So if you upload documents, they give you documents to access. So if you don't upload anything and do you think that you want to read for others, no, you cannot, right? So keep that in mind. So certain documents are being uploaded. So. You, uh, script is also another platform if you want to share notes and all those things. And there's one more platform called Isuzu. Sorry, I'm not sure. I forgot the name. Uh, it's not the car, I mean, truck company, but it is a different. I'll put it in the Slack. 
that is also having a document upload. Okay. So these are the cloud uh, content sharing, mainly for slides and documents, or you can directly share the uh, Google Docs documents also. Now, next very important, something called Moodle. I don't know how many of your, of your institutes are already using Moodle. If you're using Moodle, put in the chat box, I'm, uh, we are using Moodle or you can put a, the university name using Moodle. So Moodle means it's a modular object-oriented dynamic learning environment. I would call this a course management system. So Moodle is an environment, usually uh, it's a learning platform. It's a software platform that has to be deployed within the campus in an intranet, and then you manage it internally without putting it on the web. But some of the institutes of who, of course who can afford hosting and other uh, things they always try to uh, uh, put it in the web and there is a modal network so there it is a course management system i hope you understand like coursera or edx or udemy you can upload uh, uh, which chapter what is the material to be used the video for the class the assignments everything is automated you are not in front of the student this is automatically paced learning process. I, I mentioned about this on Monday. So you can download the software onto your web browser, web server and or ask any one of your knowledgeable modal partners to assist you. There are several modal partners available across India. Like they are, they are called LMS experts, learning management experts. I will introduce to you one of them on Friday. So uh, if you have anything, you can ask them also. I'm not an expert in that implementation and deployment, but those guys will be able to help you. So many Indian institutes like IITs, NITs, and some universities already implemented Moodle. So already it is a running process. Oh, of course, we cannot access since we do not have an ID from that particular institution. So these are all institution-based. So uh, you have to make sure. I can see someone is already using it. Yeah, we are using it, sir, uh, uh, Dr. Rupa is already saying that we are already using Moodle. Now, the question here is, okay, whoever knows to deploy it, they are using, what about others? Now, we have a solution for others also. You can go to a website called as G-N-O-M-I-O, Nomio. So Nomio is a collective effort they are doing uh, to implement or start any courses using Moodle. It is a community. It is free, but let me tell you, every free comes with something, right? Uh, we, how they will manage if we say, if they give everything for free. If you give certain amount of money, the ads won't be displayed. Otherwise, ads will be there on your courses. Ads means not video, but basically a banner picture of ad, uh, ads will be there. Otherwise, you can easily uh, do it. You have to register the side name. Let me be very uh, honest with you. They have spent a lot of money How about now, madam? It is okay? Okay. Let me check. Uh, everything is fine? Oh, great. Okay. Um, let me check. Uh, yeah, the power went off. And one more thing. Uh, act. Yeah, internet is slow. It might some time. Yes. So you can see, as per the semester or the month, a lot of uh, uh, is available. A lot of the data is uh, like uh, available. Just a minute. Okay, it's loading. But taking time. Yeah, so, given. so we can really uh, um, make a proper uh, guidelines on making them. Now, let's say you're, you're not uh, so efficient or you don't want to too much time because I saw one of the concern of the participant was uh, the time taken for 
creation of content as yes, it is a bit challenging there are people who are doing it for you unfortunately you have to pay 100% they are spending time right so you have to pay for that your own website this is under google be coming along with yours similarly you have something called as the blogspot uh, which is coming with them it is the result outcome that is our profit so that is where we are trying so we need to know how to sell ourselves in order to sell ourselves we need to have a good profile in the why how do we sell in the other way we publish paper but not able to edit uh, you know i'm not sure about this question uh, probably we can discuss during the assignment discussion increasing the time do they told you but uh, uh, yeah, there will be small ads coming up otherwise it's good I think with that the thing is over. Oh. Okay. I think uh, uh, already thirty-four people uh, are. Uh, Giri, how to upload and script it now? Uh, how to upload and script it now? Oh. I, uh, Giri, one more mm -hmm. uh, thing. Can That, we have? Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, can we give deadline or timeline to complete the? Google form. Can you show how to upload the Google slide, please? Uh, it is in the slide share. You have to go to the slide share and click on upload. And then uh, you can do it. And upload it. Now, now uh, regarding many questions i have to tell you there are many add ons available right so that you have to keep in mind there are several add ons available some add ons can be done indirectly with the default itself so google forms also has add ons so tomorrow i'll be uh, friday i'll be showing those add ons when i show you about the certificate so you will get to know uh, the limiting uh, deadline uh, maintaining and many more other options so slide upload you have to download the slide from the uh, google slides and then upload it here in slide share okay so we can see that almost 40 people have given uh, please yesterday madam, please. i created google form and try to add symbol like uh, pi sigma and equation but it's not accepting you have to copy paste it from google docs created in google docs copy paste that question and put it in forms and there are add ons available so those ones also can help you i'll show that in day the quiz of question okay i think you know more queries it is all okay so thank you so much uh, have a okay. good day